Can I get some assistance here? Help. Nope. Got it? You'd like to think with something like this, I would have an expert on it. I'd like to see if I could see it. Oh, hey. So, this is Be the only city where it's legal to drag someone, hit somebody, get out of the car, and piss on them. <laughs> Not gonna lie, ain't from here. Ain't. From Oklahoma, where we consider 20 miles an hour fast and serious. <laughs> anyway, I finally just moved out the house, and mom was like, Yeah, it's crap, and it's freaking me, freaking me. My dad is like, Great, go out and get a real job. And you know, he always showed me that he wanted me out of the house because I would come home from school and there'd be Army and Navy brochures all over my bed. Now, what the hell am I going to do with Army and Navy brochures? Look at me. I look like I should be a stand-in for Gary Coleman on different strokes. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> nah. I do a whole lot of crazy stuff when I was young. I mean, I used to just come home from school, then just jump out the closet and go, well, bam! I would say, what was that for? He would say, everything. <laughs> but my grandmother, my grandmother has been the most offensive being ever met in my life. She throws shoes at you. That seems like Neil off the Matrix to dodge this woman. She goes, she's going to go, <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, she always had that third shoe. I guess I never saw her coming because I was only expecting the first two. But anyway, she went to the restroom once, and I was determined to figure out where she had that third shoe. So I went up, found the first two, and I figured out she had the third shoe under the seat cushion she was sitting on. Ha ha! Ha ha! So she comes back, moving on back, sits on down, and I start messing with her, putting my finger in her face. The woman went nuts, poked out, and grabbed the closest thing that was next to her, which happened to be the Bible. She picked it up and said, Look, Lord, give me strength. And then she started beating me with it. She started saying stuff I didn't even know was in the Bible. Like the Lord gave his only son so I can whip your ass and still be forgiven. <laughs> Now you're going to tell your friends that you literally got the Word of God beaten into you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've done a lot of, a lot of uh, crazy things here in the city. Well, not really too crazy. I'm learning new experiences and everything like that. Uh, a couple years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. It was incurable blood disease released and formed along the bone. And, you know, it, 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 I'm, I'm going to dispel a couple of myths about cancer, okay? First of all, I thought I was going to look good when I went bald. Okay, because most black guys usually look good. This was not the case at all. I ended up looking like an ashy Uncle Fester. <laughs> and another thing, not all nurses are hot. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy lied to me. Okay. I love all my nurses to death, but they all look like that black woman from the Pine Saw commercial. You remember the one? Pine Saw, baby. <laughs> that one, yeah. But my oncologist, my oncologist was gorgeous. She could have told me I had cancer of the puppy, AIDS, or I was white. And I still would have believed in smiles and uh huh. <laughs> now, a lot of crazy things happen in the hospital. A lot of crazy things. This old woman came in about 3 a.m. in the morning, came into my room, sat right in the middle of my floor, took her pants down, looked down, looked up at me. Looked down again, looked back up and said, This isn't the bathroom? <laughs> like, no, ma'am, not unless they put stadium seating in the bathroom. This is not. She looks down confused again, and she goes, This is weird. <laughs> I'm like, This is weird for you. You're in my bathroom at 3 a.m. in the morning, about to shit on my floor, and this is weird for you. Okay, so reach your zone. Go for it. I'm just going to put my IV cord around my neck and hopefully pass out before you pass out yourself. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I've been trying to do a little dating. I'm not very good with the whole dating thing. Uh, I, 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 did, I did. I did date this one girl. She had like uh, the dead eye. And uh, so like one eye was looking at me when one eye was looking out the window. <laughs> so I don't know if she had a good time or she was ready to jump ship. <laughs> I'm not good at this dating. My dating life is like watching an episode of Seinfeld. A lot of talk and not much going on. <laughs> no. I like a reference. I like a reference. <laughs> no, um, 
But yeah, a lot of crazy things happened in my life. Like I was in Chinatown the other day, and I saw a black woman with red hair. Now, she looked like Ghost Rider. It's one of the most scary things I ever saw. Now, you see... Oh, hell, why not? I've had a good life. Now, you see, red hair on a black woman doesn't look good. Now, I like the color red on a lot of things. Sweaters, hats, not to mention jello pudding. <laughs> 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 but she looks like the Christmas that I was like, yes, clap for the God's reference. <laughs> <It's> very nice, <laughs> sir. <laughs> No, uh, but my birthday is coming up, and uh, like most holidays, I think there should be a song for everything. So I composed the 12 Days of Keithmas <clears throat> that I'd like to share with you right now. You got to be kicked out of it, so perhaps you have a song of your own name yourself. <clears throat> for the 12 Days of Keithmas, my true love gave to me. 12, my court case 11, your probation 10, those aside night 9, extra children 8, husband dating 7, moldy cheesecake 6 of my old trash cans, 5, drive by shooting, 4, unpaid bills 3, French chicks 2, welfare checks, and a bucket of Kentucky fried chicken. You guys, you guys have been great. You guys have been